Hello, a very sick Epos here, bringing you a view of the very early stages of the upcoming free-to-play first-person shooter from Crytek and Tryon, Warface. This is the character creation menu. Now, what it does is until you're in the game, the UI is actually launched in your web browser. So this is in Chrome, and obviously it's a square resolution. I choose a solid snake looking character here. <coughs> But then once you get in-game, it actually, you know, it goes full screen. It asks you if you want to do the tutorial level and gives you some in-game money. It's well worth it. It's only a couple minutes, as you'll see here. And if it earns you some unlockables in-game, why not? Here's the tutorial level. Starts out, exp you know, telling you... It's all, you know, pretty basic stuff. It's simply just how to use the controls, what the different classes are. You do see there are some frame rate stutters when certain things happen for the first time. I apologize for that, that's just how the game is. As far as like, the first time you shoot, the first time you change classes. Um, about halfway through here I enable some more graphical settings and so like mo motion blur gets enabled and stuff. So the first time that I turn and things like that, things... Um, <clears throat> things get a little laggy for just a second, but it's not any sort of long thing. You do have a crisis similar weapon customization menu where you hit C and you can attach below the barrel items and scopes and things like that. I think that's really cool. There, you just saw me fail with the sniper scope, but that's okay. And you're just doing some basic target practice just to get the hang of things. And then you're switching weapons, using the grenade launcher to take out a lot of targets. The pistol looks really cool in this. The graphics so far look really, really good. For an in-browser game that took like maybe two minutes to download and set up, it was... it looks really good. Like, I'm extremely impressed by this. And there's your deagle-like pistol. I'm sitting there trying to shoot the targets because I wasn't paying attention and didn't hear that it said to use a grenade on them. I'm like, oh, well, a grenade might make more sense. <coughs> And the grenades throw really far, so you see I missed that one, but the second one I hit it. The grenades, I'm not used to the grenade throw, but that's all right. And then it just kind of walks you through picking up some different weapons, things like that. Using a light machine gun and showing you how that differs compared to your original assault rifle. And now you get into movement controls. Now here, it wants you to, it's, it's showing you melee attacks on fruit and stuff, which is really, really weird. And then you get to use your knife on the watermelons, and I go on a watermelon and pumpkin carving spree here, which I will fast forward, actually. Once you're done carving your pumpkins, you learn how to... Ow. How to move. Moving is very critical in any video game. <laughs> Here I'm actually failing at trying to figure out how to go prone, because apparently you can't go prone while crouching, but that is okay. So you have to be fully standing and then hit X to go on prone mode. Not entirely sure what I think about that, because I'm too used to, like, the dolphin dive-esque, just, like, smooth stand-crouch prone motion from you know, another first-person shooter franchise, but that's okay, it's not, that's certainly not a make-or-break thing by any means. Proceed. You can jump and, climb over obstacles. and I completely, again, did not pay attention to which gun I was supposed to shoot, but that's okay, it didn't take me too long to figure it out. <clears throat> and then once you get out from under the barbed wire, you learn to jump and to climb. And it's very similar to the movements in Crisis, which I like. I've always, I've kind of wanted to see that in modern like, you know, in modern military shooters, so that's pretty cool. And then I completely fail there. <laughs> Just run right into the wall. That's how you slide. Not a huge fan of sliding in video games. I Something about it, I guess just because I never use it, so I don't use it enough or whatever, but something about it just really doesn't feel smooth or right enough for me to use in a game. But that's just me. And there, it says do co-op action, but you're just pushing the car. <clears throat> and then pick up a bomb. And plant the bomb. We're playing Counter Strike. We're playing the Counter Strikes. And plant the bomb. 
I'm gonna run far away so you don't get blowed up, and I'm just gonna play around with the slide to do that for the heck of it. Kaboom. Wait, there you go. And then I gotta figure out how to get back under there, because I am a derp. There we go. And then next you'll learn about the different classes, which is kind of cool. This is also where I changed to the motion blur, so expect a couple frames to drop really quick. Press escape to access your class menu. And now you're a medic. Pressing 5 brings up your med kit. It walks you through. Basically, this just walks you through how to use the other classes. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you'd like to see more Warface beta. And I might do some open... Let me know if you have it, and I'll do some open lobbies or something. And otherwise, you guys have a nice day. Kit on others as well as on himself. Heal your Out teammate. This is gonna Move hurt. to the shooting range. Well done. Shotguns are not accurate, but very powerful in close range. Take a short practice on the shooting range. game menu again to change your class to engineer. This is a support class which can restore armor. He can also operate bombs faster than others. Well done. Engineer can see a low armor status of his team. Proceed. Engineer is the only class which can use claymores and landmines. They are activated by hostile movement and explode dealing a lot of damage to enemies. Infantry is a short range rapid fire weapon. Very easy to handle but loses power over distance. Switch your class to Rifleman. You can replenish bullets when playing as a soldier. Switch to M, provide your teammate with ammo. Well done. Assault rifles are universal short to long range weapons. Primary firepower of your squad. Unfortunately, assault rifles are not so easy to handle. Done. Change class to Sniper. This class has no special abilities, but it's extremely dangerous at long range. Also, some heavy rifles could pierce even through metal plates. Great job, soldier. Knocked down teammate will not be able to stand up by himself during certain period of time, but you can help him out. You can climb some high walls with the help of your teammate. Warrior who initiates cooperation can choose a climbing mode. You can only assist without climbing up or climb together. This is it, Warrior. You are ready for battle. Put your warface on.